Namaste and welcome to youth TV show Making Nepal Proud Globally produced by today's Youth Asia. Today we have with us a special guest, Honorable Dr. Rakhil Adato. She is a member of Israel's parliament from Kadima party. She is also a medical doctor and an attorney. Welcome to the show, ma'am. I think the greatest environment uh, threat of the century, why is combating climate change uh, is becoming a burning issue on the agendas of government and business around the world? It's a very important question because we are facing these we are facing now the threat and the dangerous of the environmental influence, as you just mentioned, on the climate, on the ecology, on life of everyone of the global world, every person in the global world. Today, because of the development of the, of the technology, more cars, more industry, more, uh, more people in the world, and the fact that people not, are not doing the best in order to keep the environment should need, the, we need the intervention of the government and not only the government of each country, but we need the intervention of committee of the whole government or agreement of all the government in the world in order to keep our world clean. Now, because of, uh, because of technology, there is warming, people say that there is warming the temperature of the world. The warming of the temperature of the world influence on the ice in the South and North Pole. This also influences the whole world and that's the reason why all the governments of the world, all the governments of the world should unite and work together in order to prevent the threat as you just mentioned, and it's a very important and very big threat on all of us. In the field of women health, usually maternal services are considered as the main point of, concent of concentration. So what are your opinions related to establishment of women hospitals that take care of other women health related issues besides maternity? You know, it depends because today in many places, there is a women hospital that takes that take, take, the treat not only maternity they have women hospital that treats everything concerning women's health and today when we talk about women's health we don't talk about gynecology only about maternity or women disease we talk about looking at a woman or look at the women on her heart condition, psychiatric condition, gynecology problems, special diseases related to women. And today, the issue of women's health consider all, all the things that are related to women and specific to women. And more and more places have now a special outpatient clinics or department that called women's health to take care exactly what you just mentioned now, not only maternity, because maternity is only part of women's health, very important part, very, very, very important part of the life of women. But when you talk about women's health, you talk about, you look about comprehensive approach, about everything that's considered to be in women's health, not as you just said. Nepal is just getting a one-way relationship where it is getting more support from other countries. How can we, the youths, initiate to make it a two-way relationship? You are a young generation. This is your time. You should work high-tech. I don't, I'm not going to give any advice, but for you as a young generation, believe in your power. Believe in your country. Believe in your power. Believe in your power to change things. This is what you as a young generation that you are the one to make the change also in Nepal. Don't say we are far away, we are poor country, we don't have mines, we don't have oil. No, you have you, you have your young generation, you are going to do the change. That's no other way. Don't rely on any other, other country. You are the only people that can do the change. Uh, you've been working for many years in the parliament lobbies. As we know, Nepal is going through a transitional period. Uh, would, you go, would you please suggest some ways to improve the youth's movement in politics? The young generation like you, that, as you just mentioned, that you are the young leaders of Nepal, should be involved 
I don't know if politics is the right way, but should be involved in the life of the country. Now, the question is what young can do for in politics in the parliament. I don't see it can be done a lot, but I do believe that if young generation of the young kids are involved in the social life of the country, that's the first step to be involved in politics. What message do you have for young leaders like me? First, believe in your power and decide I'm going to devote my life not only to myself, but to the society. If I want to live in Nepal, I want my kids to grow in Nepal. I want them to be successful. I want to be successful. Believe in what you're doing and try to do not only for yourself, but also for the society. So that's one message. Do only not for yourself, but do for my country, your country, for Nepal, for Israel, whoever lives, wherever he lives. That's one thing which is important for young leader. Believe in your power. Go, study, learn, be professional. Do, take the best that you can do. Don't say it's hard, I don't have money, I have to go to work, I cannot support myself, my, my parents can support me. Because 20 years from now, nobody will hear these excuses. Now do everything that you can do in order to, to do this progress. It will be good to yourself or good for your country. Be involved. Be involved. Don't sit and criticize sitting in a sofa and criticize out. Be involved in what's being done. Say that Nepal is important to me. I want to live in Nepal. My grandparents used to live there. I want my kids to be raised here. Nepal is important to me. Do the best for your country. Well, this brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching us. For feedbacks, Please contact us on mnpgtv at gmail.com, GPO8975, EPC5478, Kathmandu, Nepal. See you next week. Bye.